Hi YouTube, this is Bible Teen here, just doing my first video game review of um, one of the first handheld consoles um, ever created. Um, it was created by Nintendo by a guy named uh, Gunpei Yokoi, um, and uh, he died in 1997 from being sideswiped by a car, and that's kind of sad. So uh, I'm also doing this um, uh, video uh, uh, in memory of him. So anyway, um, what I've got today is um, the Nintendo Game Boy, and it was uh, made by Nintendo in 1989. And um, it's uh, I actually like the Nintendo Game Boy because it's like a it's like a portable NES, only that it runs smoother than a uh, NES uh, where you don't have to slide in the cartridges and push down on them, and it took like forever to get them to boot up. Um, yeah, but anyway, um, this was one of the first um, handheld uh, consoles ever made. Uh, it's not the first true handheld console ever made. Um, first true handheld console ever made was... Uh, Milton Bradley's Microvision, but that didn't do too well, so forget that. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at the system itself. You got a D-pad here. It's a very comfortable D-pad, uh, about as comfortable as an NES D-pad. Right here, you've got an A, B button. Uh, you got your start button, select button, and you got a speaker here. It works fairly well. It's fairly loud when... Um, when uh, you uh, turn it all the way up, right here you got um, you got your headphone jack. I don't know if this was standard at the time for handheld consoles. And right up here you got a good looking screen right here. Uh, you got a, uh, a power light right here. I don't know if this was standard at the time for handheld consoles either. So uh, anyway, right on the side here you got something that says contrast, what that was, uh, it's a scroller, it helps uh, adjust the brightness and darkness of the screen. And uh, right here you got power jack. On the other side of the system you've got your volume scroller and something that says EXT connector. And what that was is, if I can get this little protector tab off here, there we go. What uh, what this was is uh, it was for connecting a link cable to um, another Game Boy. That way uh, you could have two-player action, you know, duke it out. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, around the side, uh, around the top of the system, you've got your uh, power switch. And on the back of the system, you've got battery hatch for four AA batteries and... Uh, that's a good amount of power for um, uh, for uh, something uh, this big, but it does run the Game Boy for uh, 32 hours, and that's great right there. Um, and uh, right here's your cartridge slot. Uh, got the game right here, Tetris. Yeah, so um, anyway, uh, this is what the system looks like. It's... Uh, not too uh, big, not too small. It's sort of like a right about the size. It can fit in the pocket, but it's sort of bulky. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to try and uh, get you a good view of uh, some games, but that might be a little bit difficult because the screen is black and white and it isn't backlit. But I'm going to try and um, and uh, give you a good view of uh, some games and some gameplay. Uh, so. Um, See you in a moment. Okay, I've readjusted my lighting um, uh, as best as I could. I've moved my lamp. Right here's the system. It might be a little difficult to um, uh, see because the light wants to keep reflecting off the screen right into the camera. And uh, I've got the game uh, Tetris here. Um, so, um, Anyway, I'm going to uh, try and give you a good view of some games and so forth. So, anyway, you right here's the system. You boot it up. It takes a minute to boot up. Right there. You can't see that. That's just acknowledgments on the screen. 
Okay, right there's uh, tile screen. It's Tetris. One player, two player. Let's go with one player because I do not have a link cable or another Game Boy. So, um, okay, you can't read this, but it says game type and music type. Let's just go with B type and uh, uh, yeah. Um, just go with the original music. You can't see this either, but this is uh, the level select screen. Let's go with the lowest level. Anyway, this is your, uh, this is your basic Tetris uh, gameplay, uh, only that it's sort of different from the NES because uh, the music is uh, changed except for the second track. I don't know why they, I don't know why they didn't change the second track um, in terms of music, um, but anyway, um, this was one of the uh, good games for the system. Uh, it's one of the best games for the system. Uh, it's it's your standard Tetris action, but it's just uh, it's dumbed down a bit. So uh, sort of looks uh, kind of primitive right there. So yeah. Ah, I got a Tetris. Yep, but anyway, it's a good game. It's been ported onto uh, different systems. Um, uh, it was first on the NES, and then it uh, and then it uh, came out on the uh, Game Boy as a pack-in title. Um, okay, the next game they have is Super Mario Land, and this one was actually designed by Gunpei Yokoi. Um, if I can get this uh, thing to boot up here. Okay, so from what you can see here, this is uh, your, uh, your basic uh, Super Mario Brothers gameplay, only that the graphics look like an NES threw up. Uh, but despite the graphics and so forth, this, uh, this game, I think it did make a Player's Choice Million Seller. Um, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's, um, it's a good game. Uh, despite the graphics looking like puke. Um, yeah, so, uh, next game, Kirby's Dream Land. This one was designed by Masahiro Sakura, and, uh, he designed it, and, um, he also created Kirby, so, uh, anyway, this is the, uh, first game that Kirby was on, and, uh, it only has five stages on it. And, um, uh, Unlike many of the other Kirby games, you cannot get powers from certain enemies, so. Yeah. Okay, the next game I got, Marble Madness. It's an arcade classic. Um, okay, let's see here. Run out of time here. Okay. As you can see, it's a basic Marvel Madness action, only that the controls don't respond real well. Okay, and the last game, DuckTales, which is a direct port from the NES Classic. Okay. Yeah, but this, uh, this is basically like uh, the one on the NES, but it's dumbed down. Okay, I've got to do my finishing thoughts in three, two, one. Okay, real quick, my finishing thoughts on the um, Nintendo Game Boy. Uh, this is actually a very good system. Uh, its lifespan lasted for about a decade. Um, and um, it did have some uh, good games for it, like Tetris and uh, Super Mario Land and uh, so forth. Um, yeah, but uh, this is uh, this, uh, actually a very good system, and uh, its battery life is very long. Um, if uh, you're looking for uh, some good uh, old NES action that's smooth running and it's on a black and white screen, try and find this on eBay, and hopefully the seller will throw in, uh, will throw in some games. Uh, if not, just try and find another one on eBay that does have some games with it. Um, yeah, but anyway, I've got to get going because this uh, video has uh, has taken too long, so goodbye.